Alrighty boys, you know the drill. What is going on? It's your boy, the big sensei, back with another video. In today's episode, we're doing some Vortex Storm. Um, it is a Tuesday afternoon, and this is the only time of the week that Vortex Storm is out R3 speed, and I think it is the best game mode slash arena out there. So we're going to have fun with this. Obviously, it's fun to play boost only too and all that, but I think over. I think it's just because this is like a delicacy. Like, um, it's it's a rarity. I mean, it's only once a week, so you don't get sick of it. So, here we go. We got all out R eight as our first opponent. I think he's referring to yellows in his name, which is uh, if you all out round eights in normal boost only, I feel bad for you. But I'm gonna go ahead and burn a spike here, and we're going to save up for good old heli pilot. Should be able to afford it here in a second. Never mind, it's not 1200. I keep forgetting it's not 1200, it's 1300 now. Um, so we can only go to 1050 here. There we go, and we'll get this big boy flowing. So we have Salted Wounds. That'll probably come in play round four, probably. We'll just have to wait and see, though. He's going for some pinks here. I'm going to layer some pinks over the top to try to get Assaulted as well. And I think we'll be successful in doing so. All right, so we are going to get up our quad darts here. He might salted wounds this. I'm salted woundsing him. We leaked a little bit here, and then we're going to leak the AI quite a bit, actually. So he just got a full salted on me. Well played. I leaked the AI there, which is unfortunate. So we did not get an We did a terrible salted. So this is actually a big. This is game changing. Um, so I'm just going to tank these leaks in order to get one salted on him here, if possible. I think we'll get one off here. We'll, I'd be surprised if we... Never mind, he's getting two helis, so we're not going to get assaulted. All right, I'm going to save up for my rotors now. Damn, he has 100 more eco than us, and that's only going to build because he's going to have more money to send more balloons. So this is going to be tough here. I need to get my rotors up right away here. There we go. Now we're fine. I have to go for a big, 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 big round six rush here. In order to, he has two quad darts, though, but we still have to just go for a huge rush. And hope we can get something through that defense in order to get assaulted off. So he's, this actually, there's a chance this works. There's a slim chance that this actually works. Never mind, he has his rotors. Jeez, man, he's playing this super well. I'm surprised because his record was not that good. Um, so yeah, this we're at a disadvantage, but I think I'm more knowledgeable on how to play this strat later on. So our best option is going to be a big round 11 region rush, since we do have that reg regrow efficiency. So that'll be useful. All right, so let's see here. So he has like probably 550 eco. Like, it's a little, little less than that, honestly. I've ecoed more than him. He just got a better salted off. He got 90 more from his salt than I did on him. So we have 4k. We could actually maybe spike storm a big... No, we can't. I'm stupid. All right. Well, let's just get this up here. We'll use that. Why are you selling all your towers? Okay. Why are you selling all your towers? Are you dumb? What am I witnessing? Uh... I'm confused and mad. I'm mad that you didn't... I don't know. I'm mad at you. Learn how to play the game, I guess. Or actually try. I don't know what that was. That was going to be a good game, but uh, he's being weird. Whatever. Uh, very anticlimactic ending to that game, boys. But GG's. Alright, this is a good one. Knockout. Monkey glue. Range boost. With some farms in there, we got... James as our opponent. Hopefully James is in a weirdo round 10. Let's see. And sells everything. Like what? Weird. Uh, I'll go for this right here. Okay. Now the knockout would be super helpful if we had... If we had uh, Salted Wounds. Because those work together very, very well. I'm going to go for the Fireball actually. I'm not really too concerned about Pink's. He wants to send pinks. I mean, we have monkey glue. Uh, but at the same time, I want to save at least two monkey glue. So I can only burn one. We're just going to send him this. We'll go to... Okay, he's actually monkey glue in that. We're going to leak... F not too fat here, actually. There we go. Vibing. A little bit of leaks here, but nothing to worry about. Let's go ahead and use up his monkey glue. 
And I probably will disable or knock out his uh, wizard round six with some yellow rush it as well. It's likely going to be my play. We'll just have to wait and see, though. If he does knock out our lightning, obviously we have to sell it, rebuy that fella, but it's not the end of the world. Also, it depends what he's sending. If he's not sending much and he knocks it out, then I can just get away with monkey gluing, probably. All right, so I'm going to save up. We haven't leaked much compared to him, which is awesome. I'm going to go for a second whiz right here. And I think he's actually going to be able to afford a second lightning here in a sec. Because he's been space equaling for a while. I need to be a little bit safe. I'm getting greedy here. I really am. So let's expect a knockout from him here. No knockout from our boy. Very interesting. He is full sending though. So this is going to hurt him in the end. 100%. Because I can go like this right now. And what we're going to do is send him this. We're going to knock that out. Send a huge rush. He's going to rebuy. That's not going to be enough. He's going to need two lightnings. He uses the range boost. Is that enough? Probably going to survive with like 50 lives. A little bit more than that. Okay, 69. Nice, nice, nice. So now what we're going to do here is we're going to get another lightning. And we're going to put down our monkey glues here. Now we're placing these down in preparation for a big round 11 rush. And that way we can glue it and then counter. So he's doing that. So we're just going to disable that quick. So we're going to use one right here. Let's use up that glue. Okay, that's his last glue. He has a lot of lightnings over there. I don't know if they're all lightnings or what he's doing over there. But I'm going to... What is he doing? Okay. So I'm actually going to all out here. I'm going to all out here. I'm gonna knock that out. And I probably, sh I definitely should have sent regions. I don't know why I didn't send regions. I was really dumb. We're probably going to lose here. Oh my god, this game loves me. Ninja Kiwi doesn't want me to quit, so they give me the one life clutch there. All right, um, GG's. I, I was dumb. I'd, I played that really bad, but he played it bad too, so it didn't really matter. That was terrible gameplay on my part, but I mean, I'll take a one life clutch real quick. I'll take that. That's just, I just, I don't know. I hate loadouts like that. I thought I liked it, but I hated it. Okay, what do we got? We have uh, improved the caboose, deactivated abilities, last 15 seconds, I believe. Yep. And we have Bloom Boost. Okay. This is a great loadout. And I say that because we have the monkey sub. Any any R3 speed vortex loadout with sub is unbelievably good. Unless there's like tower line or some BS like that. But let's go. Let's freaking go, man. Alright, can we get ready to kill a boy? What are you waiting for? Loadout's not changing. So we're actually gonna start off with an NG, and then we'll start to get up a start to get up a sub here slowly i'll probably use my improved eco boosts really bro get out imagine getting a great loadout and having your opponent dc just imagine bro okay i actually like this loadout a lot eco amp i believe yep okay i like this loadout a lot me and trey are mixed right now so can't really calm the lobby, but all right, we're gonna save up for a good old whatever it's called. An eco am that's smart. We're gonna do that. Okay. We'll forward this here in a sec. Beautiful. He's gonna leak fat here. See ya, buddy. See ya, see ya, see ya. All right, we should actually get this glaive thrower thing going. He somehow didn't leak much more than me. Well played, sir. So now we're just max equaling here. Tis the play. He's not max equaling anymore. I mean, he's also leaked, oh my gosh, he's almost like 100 lives. He's like 94 lives here real quick. Yeah, you just see it if you're period over there. He's now equaling. We're gonna save our eco amp for probably round uh, nine and then round 11. I think we would have it back by then. I'm not sure, though. Round 10 and 9 are pretty quick. Why are you sending space to eco? You should be max equaling. There you go. 
Nicely done, Mr. Period. So for round 11, uh, we have the Jugger launches for any big all outs. Easy defend. And then we can get up a Glaive Lord. I might do Glaive Lord Ninja combo. Not sure yet. I think I'd rather have a Glaive Lord than a Flash Bomb. No, actually, that's wrong. That is a completely false statement. All right. Well, I'm going to go for Ninja up here because we're going to be leaking a little bit here. Don't know how we're leaking, but we are. I think my boomer spot's just kind of ass. Maybe, maybe I don't know. We have a good eco, though. Our eco numbers are spectacular. Definitely out ecoing by a fair amount since he's been sending space eco this whole time. Like a weirdo. We'll be absolutely fine against everything now. So I'm going to go to 600 eco, and then we're going to save up. And I'll use one eco amp as well. So we're going to use this. Perfect. Now, I mean, we could just get up a turbo, but I'd rather just get permanent cam lead detection, which is going to be this. So we're going to get that up here. He won't go for a big round 11 rush. There's no way. He'd be stupid to do that. Then again, you never know with players in arena, so we'll just find out. I'm going to say destroy. Act like I'm rushing this fool, but I ain't. Got him. All right. We'll send you camel leads immediately round 12. Okay, he has a slasher. Nicely done. But... Actually, no, let's let's not try to even... I'm just going to eco, bro. I'm just going to eco. Rush me if you please. I'll react accordingly. Rush me if you please. Yeah, that's what I thought. Because, I mean, say we do go for a camel lead rush, all we're going to do is force a jugger launch. And is that really much of a win? Not really. So I'm just going to vibe with what we got right now. And we already have a nice eco lead, so might as well build off of that, right? And then just be more aggro later in the game. A little late game action potentially here on its way. Do I want to get up a Jitsu? Hmm. Maybe. I mean, we have Moage next round. I'm going to send him a VFB round 18. That's going to be tough for him. We're going to stop at 950. Go, no, we'll go 960. If he sends a Moab, we just get up a Jitsu. And we do be vibing after that. Should solo. He's sending me a... Oh, he went for a Jitsu. Okay. Cool beans. I'm not going to go for my Jitsu yet, because if I think he's going to send me a BFB, um, we want to permastall that if possible. So we're send that. He's space ecoing. I don't know if he's going to send me one. We're going to balloon boost that at him. I don't think... Oh, he is going to send one. Okay. Can I get the permastall off in time? I did. Oh, no, I didn't. Uh, that's not permastalled. Okay. Well, we're just going to go like this. We'll go like that, actually. We'll eco amp. And we shall get ready here. Let's see what he does over there. We don't really need that anymore. Let's go like this. Let's go like that. See, that is full speed right now. That's terrible. We don't like that at all. <laughs> we don't like that at all. And we're going to jugger this in a sec. I don't know if we're going to be able to fend this off completely. Um, let's do that. And the Jugger Launch absolutely sucks. One of the worst powers in the game. One of the worst powers in the game. Holy shit, the Jugger Launch is terrible. GG's though. GG's though. Get, oh my gosh, the Jugger Launch is terrible. GG's, bye. Oh my gosh, the Jugger Launch is absolutely terrible, bro. Get this out of the game, bro. How can you not pop a ceramic? You're a freaking Juggernaut launch thing. Like, come on now. That honestly hurts so much. That is very unfortunate for the boys. That's my first Vortex loss in like three weeks. Four weeks. Maybe four weeks. Uh, that's crazy. I, like, never lose in, in Vortex, but there we go. What a great loadout we have here, though, folks. Spectacular loadout. Right away, off the rip. Alright, this could go late game, and I hope it does, because late game, R3 speed is hella fun. I'm gonna go straight for this. The big sensei really out here choking games and Vortex, but it doesn't matter because I have 39 million medallions and nothing to spend them on, so I don't really care if I lose medallions. I just hate losing to noobs, but that's about that. Alright, GG's. I'm gonna go insane, but it's okay. So we have balloon snipe, we have our, uh, we have some trash road spike, and then we have a dual eco boost. So two fourth tier powers with farms. This is gonna be a good one. We're gonna go to 325 eco. We're gonna go to 350 eco. I changed my mind. 350 eco for the boys, and then we'll start up farming. Then we do be going for the farms. So we're gonna save him for the farms. He's not rushing me, so he's going for the farms as well. 
All right, never mind. He's going for a canon over there. Not the play, not the play. He could have soloed with one Dartling, but it's okay. I'm actually going to use a Dual Boost right away. Here we go. And he's going to wait till round six, it appears. We are going to need defense. I'm going to place this right now, actually. We'll send this. We'll see what he does. He's going to need a Clusty. Is he going to be able to... Uh, he actually might be fine with that. I just don't want to go too aggro because I need to be able to defend uh, with the bomb of our own as well. So let's get this right here. Depending on the size of this rush, we'll be fine with... Okay, yeah, we'll be fine with the Fraggy. We'll just chill with the Fraggy for now. We don't need no Cluster. We don't need no Cluster. We'll leak like 20 lives. Don't care. Titan Farms, actually. We're going to sell this. We're going to go like this. And we're going to upgrade this. All right, and we're going to do the Eagle trick on this next round. Region Lights could be pesky here. Could be very pesky. Uh, depending on how this... Goes. Yeah, we have to get that out. We'll just do that. Okay, perfect. Now we nearly no lives. We're not no lives lasting. I lied. Okay, fat leaks by the sensei here. Very fat leaks. All right, we go for a big rush right here. On the round, please. We'll go like that. Yeah, have fun with that. So that's going to force a balloon impact. Awesome. And. If he wants to go for a big camera rush, I'll just get up a laser cannon. And then we'll counter. Okay, he's dead. GG's. Turtle micro, GG's. Turtle micro, GG's. All right, GG's. But yeah, if you would have went for an all-out camera rush counter, we'd get a blazer cannon. And we'd have full map coverage with it. We'd probably be fine. I don't think he'd be able to send that big of a camera rush. And then if you were to send an all-out region rainbow rush, we'd just get up a blue and impact and then another cluster and we're fine. Because we had enough money to do that. So GG's. We had money saved up, plus we had to... Uh, Plantations that sell for like 23, 2400 each. And a blue pack's only 3600, I believe. So, GG's. Alright. What do we got now? We got Million Dollar Extreme. I've played this guy before. He's alright. Good luck, have fun. What do we got? Damage boost, long blue boost, knockout. Okay. Alright. Gotta cut that out. We have 21 minutes. 21 minutes of game time here. Start off with a nice little trip dart action. We do have the knockout. Might utilize that early. Just cost a rebuy real quick. Or force a rebuy. Or I save it. I'll probably save it. Not worth it this early. We're only going to get reds by. Like a few reds by. Not worth. Not worth, bro. So we're going to be equal here. He's copying my dart spots. It's fine. All right. He's like 40 lives already. How? We have the same defense. Do we not? Very interesting. So he's actually going to go for that. We're going to put that on close. And just keep ecoing. I'm going to tank leaks. If you want to send space eco and get 30 lives on me, go for it. I have no fear. Alright, let's go like that. I'm going to bloom boost yellows at around 6 for sure, I think. I'm going to start to get up a spolt. Send space eco save up. Alright. If he wants to knock out my spot, be my guest. Be my freaking guest. What is he doing over there? He's probably going to do the same thing, get a spot where I have my spot. But imagine. He's going to copy my trip dart spot again. Okay. Cool. <laughs> Let's just go ahead and get up a uh, start of another spot in case he knocks one out. Okay, I kind of butchered that placement, but it's fine. Here comes a bloom boosted rush from him, most likely. Never mind, he has a spot down there. Nice, nice, nice. Alright. Let's just get eco, bro. Let's just get eco. Knock out my spolt, I dare you. Alright, we're gonna go 500. Stop there for now. Ah, uh, we can go a little higher, actually. We do have damage boost. We do have damage boost. Let's get the double spolt going. We'll put one on first just for temporarily. There we go. Back on last. Back on last ego. And we are getting a nice eco here. I don't really have much fear with the damage boost in our back pocket, so. There you go, 600. If you want to knock out my Wiz by sending leads, be my guest. But I don't think he'll do that. I'm ecoing super hard right now. Watch, he's going to do it. He's literally going to do it. 
Never mind, he didn't knock it out. Okay, well, 650. Pretty greedy play on my part, but we're just relying heavily on that damage boost to uh, pull us to victory here. Okay, man. Let's get up a bunch of spolts. And I'm going to get up uh, lightning right here. We should be fine. Don't sleep on the damage boost. That's all I'm saying. Do not sleep on the damage boost. Rush me, boy. I dare ya. He has a jug down there. I kind of want to try a rush, but I'm not going to. I'm going to be play, pretty passive here, actually. Asian passive station out here. We're both playing passive, but I definitely am not equaling, so that's good. It's be interesting when uh, mods and stuff come around. He has a jug there, so I can't knock out his whiz. If he's smart, he knocks out one of my whizzes and sends region lights. So that'd be a smart rush. I would just sell and get up a jug, but it still could be pretty effective, not gonna lie. So we'll see if he figures that out and goes for something of that nature, but... I'll send him a Moab round 16. 100%. If we force a... Uh... If we force a... Uh... Fan club, that'd be cool. Let's see. I'm going to simmer for now, though. If he doesn't bloom boost the Moab and he sends regular on, we'll be able to greet it out with summon whirlwind. Unless he knocks that out, that would be dangerous. So we're going to send that. Send that at zero. We'll send that. All right. I'll probably sell a Spolt or two here. We're going to bloom boost that at him. He's going for a heli. All right. Have fun with this. He's going to damage. He's going to need to damage boost this. We're going to knock out that. That's GG. You're, oh, the good micro. Nice clutch. Well done, Mr. Million Dollar Extreme. Well done, sir. All right. I'm just going to get ready for a counter first. I think he's going to rush me here. All right. Can't knock out that shit. I'm too quick with it, baby. I'm too quick with it. That's the easiest defend of my life. Go to... Uh, why am I equaling? I should all out next round. What am I doing? Asian bot station out here. We have no stall tower, do we? We do not. Uh, we're going to sell this so I have money. In case he knocks something out. I want him to all out with BFB so I can all out him with Moabs and knock out his fan club. Alright. I think... So the blue, super long, or the long bloom boost lasts really long. So I'm going to do something here. It lasts really long. We're going to send him four of the... Three of these. Ah, fuck it. Yeah, we'll do that. And we're going to knock out as soon as he buys a fan club. Go for a fan club. Go for a fan club. Don't see his fan club. Knocked out the fan club. I'm so elite. I am... Look at that reaction time by the big sensei. He sells it, rebuys it. Now we send him more. And we'll get the balloon boost back here. All right, this should be GG. I don't think he's defending those ceramics as it is. Yeah, GG's. Say he counters there. We're going to have to do a lot of micro and damage boost, but we would have had our damage boost. That was a good game. I'm tossing GG. And we'll play one final game. We'll play one final game for the boys. It'll probably be close to a 30-minute video, I would imagine. Go to no monies. Sub it. Yeah, actually, go sub to no monies, bro. He's a beast. He's an OG fan of mine. All right, good luck, have fun. Great loadout. Great loadout. This is gonna defend fairly late. One, two, three. All right. This lake is an extremely good late game loadout, but we're playing R3 speeds, so. Do have rubber to gold though. All right, we're gonna start off with the Wiz Dog right here. I like this spot, actually. This spot works pretty dang well. And I suppose I'm fine burning spikes for pinks, so I'm gonna go for my dragon ball or my fireball to leak a little bit less here and just rely on spikes to carry us through defending pinks. No biggie. So yep, there's the pinks. We're just gonna get this up right here. We're just gonna use our spikes here. That's what we're doing. We're gonna utilize our spikes now as opposed to later, because I mean we do have the power cooldown and we're not gonna really make use of spikes anyways. So there we go. We'll send up to there so I can afford my lightning. And we've only leaked six lives from uh, that greet, so I'm fine with that. I'll probably rubber to gold around six. 
or run seven. We'll do it around seven because AI, there's a decent amount of group wins around seven. So that's the plan. If he uses, uses a rubber to gold here, we're just going, okay, now we're gonna stop sending. All right. Don't wanna feed him free money. I'm gonna go for a second wizard. Beautiful. His rubber gold's gonna run out here in a second. So we're gonna go back to sending. Shouldn't get any money from this. Yep, awesome. So if he goes big rush round six, we have the rubber to gold to be able to afford another lightning most likely. So yeah, I'm gonna use my rubber to gold round seven. It's gonna be my play. Just a quick one. Even if it, we just get money from AI, that's fine with me. So we're gonna use that right now, actually. He's gonna stop sending, but like I said, we're gonna get a lot from AI here. Look at all the groups. Look at all the group balloons over there. I mean, it's better than nothing. It's better than nothing, right? Can we get some from that? Yes, we can. So I'm actually gonna go for an ace for around uh, 11. That way we can solo rainbow rushes with ease. I'll actually greet a little bit more. We're gonna go right there. He's going for an ace as well. I like my ace spot a lot better than his. I'm also gonna put mine out on the circular path. Let's say he does rush round 11 and I don't have an ODS up. We use the rubber to gold and we'll get a shit ton of money if he's sending rainbows and stuff. And then we sell this and we can get up an ODS and we'll be fine. So if you all outs right now, I'm not worried. I'm really not. And if it is really bad, we can maybe absolute zero encounter, depending on if he sells everything to all out us. Now I'm gonna go like this actually. And I'm gonna eco. Now we can sell that for 4K, so I'm not really too worried here. All right, and we're both gonna go back to ecoing. Sounds good to me. I'll use my next rubber to gold around 16. Ooh, round 14 is actually not bad. It's not bad for it. I'm gonna use one actually. I'm gonna use one. There's a lot of group loons right here. Like, I think we'll get more than I, I would think we would. Um, Not really. <laughs> kind of bad. But it gave me money to max eco. <clears throat> so that's good. All right, let's get ready for Moabs. Okay. We're gonna send, oh yeah, BFBs are gonna be tough. I just realized. He's rubber golding. I'm gonna rubber gold as well. Round 16 is a good round. Much better than round 14. Uh, all right. Big, what are you doing? The heck are you doing? What is that rush? What the heck are you doing, brother? Why are you surprised? That was a dumb rush. You weirdo. <laughs> what a what a strange lat. What a strange lat. GG's, I guess. Strange lad. GG's though. He's gonna big balloon slow. Probably try to defend this year. And he's actually gonna all out counter, so we just have to absolute zero this. And we're gonna wait till all the mobs are on the screen. There we go. Alright. Now we can actually defend this. Not trolling, we can defend this. With a nice little big boon slow, we can defend this. No problem. GG's though. Hope you guys did enjoy this video. Remember to drop a like and subscribe. Hit that subscribe button. Yes, sir. Please. Thanks. Bye. Peace.